one thing I like about this A5 is that I would be perfectly happy in one of these. Ooh. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Dave, and on this channel, we talk all things related to my 2022 Audi S4. Oh my God. As well as some other cars. This Lariat is very nice. Can we pop the trunk? <laughs> oh, we actually just spun out the wheels there. If this is something that interests you, please consider subscribing. It's free, easy, just takes one click. Now, on to the video, and I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing the Audi A5 versus the Audi S4. Now, this is going to be a comparison of kind of the two balances on a scale between sportiness and daily drivability. Personally, I think Audis excel as a daily driver with some sporty chops. I'm going to talk about kind of that as a whole, but also just what things I like between the Audi A5 that I drove and the Audi S4, looking at it from a less to more sporty comparison. Hope you guys enjoy. So that brings me to what do I like about the Audi A5 versus the S4? Well, the design. I love sport bags. I'm not really driving with many people in the rear, but I do like that added practicality of the hatch. So that's a willing uh, trade-off I would be okay with. That's the thing I like, sport back design. It looks sleek, it's functional, and you can still carry people in the back. Now, the thing I don't like as we get up to the stop sign is definitely that dual clutch personality, but you can definitely feel it slipping the transmission, but I also feel like it has like almost a slingshot effect. Now, what do I like about the uh, S4 or A4 platform over this? Oops, wrong window. Is this frameless door? Not a big fan of it. Makes it just feel less confident as you're opening and closing that door. But I do think it adds a level of sharpness to the exterior design, but I'm not the fan of it. I'd rather have a nice solid door when I close it, but that's just a minor gripe. Now, what do I like about this over my S4 in terms of the engines being that we're comparing two different types of powertrains with two very different goals in mind. I can see the desire for this A5. It's something about the not going for the sportiest version or the sport version of an, a car lineup is that you can just get in it and forget that you're driving a car. It's not beating you up. It's not encouraging you to uh, drive hard and then it's not saying that the s4 beats me up But when you're you know driving a sports car and you want to enjoy it a sporty sedan You're gonna beat yourself up because you're you know, you're digging into boost your uh, You know, you're going a little bit more uh, Aggressive with your turns and your throttle and you know, it's just a little bit more of a, a jerky side-to-side uh, -side experience So it's not necessarily I don't like the A5 to the S4 in terms of that because I think they both strike that balance of sporty driving and day-to-day -day livability. I would say my money was on the line, definitely would still swing for the S4, S5 because of the better balanced Jekyll and Hyde personality of them. one thing I like I would say more about this a5 and I think it's only available in the base models is this steering wheel I like this design with the round center versus like the square that's in my s4 um, I think it matches better to the Audi logo so let's get up to sport mode Yeah, I couldn't notice any shifting there at all. Hit those paddles. Engine sounds good. And you do hear some backfires 
from that dual clutch, the classic Audi, or the farts. So that's nice to hear. Now the 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 boom 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 is much much crisper in this car, but it's not that much that different compared to the S4. I think that just shows how good that eight-speed automatic transmission is, and maybe you don't need that dual clutch. Oh my god. Okay. I was pleasantly surprised. Okay. There's a little hidden launch control there. Okay. I see you, Audi A5. That was pretty fun. And that's kind of going back to one thing I like about this A5 is that I would be perfectly happy in one of these. Uh, if I want to save some cash, maybe get, you know, if I had been coming into Audi, I'd be very happy with one of these. I think you could do some tuning and some modifications to make this a little bit more of like a sporty A5 and a half or like a S5 and a half uh, and still get some good fuel economy and daily, daily uh, drivability. Not to say that the S4 as my daily driver isn't good at what it does. I think that just shows how good Audi and a lot of these luxury German brands have refined their product. That you can really tailor the cars to what you want. And there's just so much aftermarket support between forums and just brands like ECS Tuning and all these websites that are just putting out work to ensure that your German auto is, uh, is well taken care of and well equipped. And that is not a sponsor. One thing I'd say I'd also like about the A5 over the S4, and it's not really a like in terms of like, I wish I had it, but I, I'm not, I am perfectly fine with this smaller gauge cluster. I don't really use it beyond the, uh, like the gas and trip computer screen. Uh, I don't really use the, the big map in the middle that a lot of people tout in Audis. But I also like the physical uh, gauge clusters for reliability. And I know it's like such a small thing to think about. I'm not really configuring the gauge cluster much. I kind of set it and forget it with the uh, the bat wing that I have now on it. And I just, it's kind of a little bit gimmicky and I like just this traditional setup. So with that, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I can't really think of anything else because these cars are so similar. It's not really like a good comparison, but also they're different in that one's a sport version. One is a, uh, uh, a normal version without the uh, turbocharged v6 but i hope everyone enjoyed and if anyone in the comments has an s4 s5 a4 a5 let me know what you think about those and why you chose one over the other why you know besides probably the obvious factor is price uh i'd be very curious to hear what you have to say